Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Unit 31 asking polite questions for a complete language course please visit my website www.adzofenglish.com today we'll learn asking polite questions for permission and asking polite questions for assistance it means help you know that in everyday life there are times and situations when we talk formally or politely to people. Situations like talking to your boss, conducting a business meeting. In other words, you know very well when to be formal and when to be informal. Usually while talking to friends and family members, we use informal English. Now first of all we look at asking polite questions for permission. Now uh, we use may and could and can for asking polite questions for permission. Now you know that may has you know different uses like could has different uses and can also has different uses but we are not learning those other uses of may, could and can. We are right now we are just learning the use of may, could and can to ask polite questions for permission not for any other thing okay now for example may I come in could I come in can I come in so may I come in could I come in and can I come in it's uh, it means that you are politely asking someone's permission to get in right it means that uh, as simple is this when I say to someone that may I come in or could I come in or can I come in it means that I want your permission to come in or in other words I am politely asking uh, for your permission to come in right and you see that may I come in or could I come in and can I come in uh, three of these sentences are related they are showing uh, present time they are not you are not using them in past or in a future whenever you want uh, you want someone's permission uh, you uh, you ask for permission in present time you cannot ask for any other person I mean any person's permission in past right so three of them they are showing uh, present time okay so may I come in could I come in or can I come in it means that I want your permission I'm politely asking you for your permission to come in right and you can see that can here I'm uh, is uh, the, uh, the third sentence is can I come in so can I come in uh, is a little less formal you know it is here it is formal and you're politely asking someone can I come in but it's a little less formal than may I come in and could I come in okay so may I come in and could I come in are more formal than can I come in now if you want to make uh, these sentences which already you know they are you know really polite questions but if you want to make them more polite what you can do is that you can add please to make them more polite for example may I please come in could I please come in and can I please come in so you can see that if you uh, please you know makes it uh, more polite so may I please come in and could I please come in and can I please come in they are now more polite you know they were oh, they already were polite questions but now they have become more polite okay so if you want to be really very polite to someone you know so you should use uh, may I please come in or could I please come in or can I please come in okay Okay, now may, can, and could, all of them have their own, you know, their other uses as well as I told you earlier, right? But here we are just using them to ask polite questions, not for any other thing. Please, please, please remember that, okay? For example, can shows ability, you know that, right? And can has other uses as well. Well, so you know that can shows ability. For example, I can play the piano. But can can also be used for permission. For example, can I come in? So here you, you see the sentence can I come in does not show any ability. It shows permission and it's a polite question. So you know, you're politely asking someone uh, for his permission, asking polite question, okay? I hope that this thing is clear now. Now uh, we'll look at asking polite questions for assistance, it means help. Now observe the sentence please. Could you please shut the door or could you shut the door? And would you shut the door or would you sh please shut the door? So now if you want someone's help, right? Or if you want someone's assistance, 
and uh, you want to ask politely to that person so you'll start your sentences with could or would right for here for example could you shut the door i mean could you please shut the door so you are asking someone for someone's help you are not asking for any person's permission here you are using could for assistance for help likewise would you please shut the door or would you shut the door you are asking for someone's help or for someone's assistance right and you are politely asking that person and both of the these both of these sentences are uh, you know equal to each other yeah they are equal okay so there isn't any difference if you say could you please shut the door or would you please shut the door so you know both of them are same there there isn't any difference in them it means that I want you to shut the door and uh, I'm politely asking you to shut the door, right? So could you please shut the door or would you please shut the door? It means that I want you to shut the door and I'm politely asking you to shut the door. I, I, I want your help or I want your assistance and for that I'm asking really very politely and really formally uh, to shut the door, right? And and the, the same thing here you can see please in brackets, you can see that, right? uh so if you want to make if you say could you please could you shut the door so it's really very formal it's already you know it's really very polite but if you want to make them more 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 polite so you should add please right so could you please shut the door is more polite than could you shut the door okay Uh, so uh, an important thing is do not take could as past of can and would as past of will we are just using them to ask polite questions for assistance right you know that could is a past of can and you know word is past of will but we are not using uh, could and word as past of can and past of will or you know there are the uses of code and word but here we are learning uh, you know could and word uh, for asking polite questions for assistance okay Okay, so please rate this video if you like my tutorial and uh, do visit my website www.atzofenglish.com and I am Faisal Samuela. Inshallah, I'll meet you in the next lesson. Till then, goodbye and see you later.